What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. This is not a reading, but this is, um, okay, so I did, what this is is a little different, okay? So, and it's good. It's really good. It's not bad. Just say it. Okay, so I did a reading. It was like, I don't know, like three weeks ago or four weeks ago or something like that. Um, I was pulling on the energy and um, I did a reading. I think it was called a... Um, you're the diamond in the rough or something like that. I can't remember the exact title of the reading, but it was like a love S type reading um, that basically you're a diamond in the rough and um, someone knows it basically. Um, I was pulling on the energy and that's what I was getting because I was doing y'all at um, energy pool, energy update. And it was, it was really uh, quite a beautiful reading in a way. There just was a lot of back history there apparently in the reading. Um, Anyway, so one of my subscribers, and I'm not going to put her name publicly on here. She didn't say I couldn't, but I'm not going to for privacy reasons, because y'all know I respect your privacy and your confidentiality. So um, unless she asked me to do it, and she didn't ask me to put her name on here. So I'm not going to put her name on here. But she is um, one that wrote a poem before, and I have put it on here before, um, if y'all remember that. But she wrote a poem based on the reading I did, the diamond, that you're a diamond in the rough about three or four weeks ago, something like that, when I uh, premiered that reading. Um, and so she sent me the poem via email and said she was inspired by the, um, by the uh, poem and um, she wanted um, to, to show me the poem. And it's beautiful. It's um really a heartfelt poem so I wrote her back and asked her if I could read it on the channel um, I just needed her written and verbal consent and she did she wrote me back an email and gave me written written well not verbal consent I apologize she gave me written consent um, in the email and so I was going to share it with you guys because it's beautiful um, she does wonderful work um, and if you're interested in her um, email me and I will forward your email to her um, I don't know if she sells these poems or what she does, but she does amazing work. So if you're interested in her, just email me and I will forward it to her. Okay. But I'm not going to put her name on here for privacy reasons. Okay. Okay. So the title of the poem is a diamond in the rough. As if that says enough about how you truly feel. I want to know if your love is real or if you just want me to kneel before you and never, ever do all the things I want to. Will you attempt to hold me back, do wicked things to put me in a state of lack, or worse yet, secretly attack, when you don't think I'm looking? What kind of things are you cooking inside that wondrous mind, and how much time are you willing to give to make sure I'm com comfortable enough to live beside you? I'm not blanketly denying you, but I don't know if I'm into trying you. I've been through a lot. I've got entangled and caught in a web of, de of deceit. That had nothing to do with me. I'm still trying to release and forgive myself for not being aware of the wolf in sheep's clothing and having an, in, an internal knowing of where I was and that people do things just because they can, whether they're women or men. Now my eyes are open, eternally wishing and hoping that what I've seen isn't all there is. There has to be a better way to live. That doesn't require me to give all I have to give in return for nothing positive. I'd rather remain alone than to build an unhappy home on a weak foundation, I'd leave without hesitation. Because now I'm fully awakened to all I deserve and more. I believe these things to my very core, so don't come knocking on my door. If games are what you have in store, I don't expect to be worshipped and adored, but to be treated with dignity and respect. That will have the greatest effect on what I give in return, because what I've ultimately learned is this. I could only be mistreated if I choose not to dismiss what isn't for my highest good, allowing others who could and would mistreat me at will. An unfair deal indeed. If I know what I need, why would I settle for less? It doesn't matter who makes the request. I have to say no if it's not the best. Like an oyster in the middle of the sea, you have to dive deep. If you hope to connect with me, otherwise just let me be. Pretty awesome freaking point, ma'am. Just saying, just saying. 
Five stars, ma'am. Five stars. I mean, it's so passionate. I just, it's so passionate. Uh, it's, and it's real. It's real. I mean, well, well y'all know I've been single a long time. A long time. I don't, I don't, I don't deal with relationships. <laughs> I just don't. But I know people go through this is what I'm trying to say. I know people do. And this is, um, it's very passionate, ma'am. And I, I'm assuming it's probably from the heart. You're very talented. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, she's really wonderful. If you're interested in her, please email me. I'll forward it to her. Okay. Love you guys. Namaste.